Hi, I'm Laura Beltran, and I'm a teacher naturalist at Mass Audubon Arcadia Wildlife Sanctuary. So if you saw our nature mystery this past week, you know that it was a bent bird feeding pole and a smashed tube feeder that holds sunflower seeds. And so the answer to our nature mystery is the black bear. The only animal strong enough to bend a bird feeding pole is a black bear. And this bear had a feast of sunflower seeds from my tube feeder. So I forgot that this is the time of year to bring in the bird feeders. There are about 4,000 or more black bears that live in Massachusetts. And their territory is mostly west of Interstate 495. However, there have been sightings east in Massachusetts. And in fact, one bear made it all the way to Provincetown. Behind me is perfect black bear habitat. They really like the mountain laurel that you see here, the green behind me and rocky ledges, um, dead trees and brush piles. That's where they like to den in the winter time. When black bears are in their winter dormancy, they don't eat, drink, urinate or defecate even from about mid-November to the beginning of April. Their heart rate and breathing rate declines and their body temperature goes down about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. This is different than our other mammal hibernators like the groundhog whose body temperature drops to just above freezing. Black bears are very fearful of people. So if they know that you're there, they will most likely run away. So the best thing to do is if you see a black bear, just talk to it quietly and then um, back away slowly or walk away slowly from it. I've seen a black bear like four times in the past couple of years. Three times when the bear noticed where I was, it ran away. And then the fourth time, um, the fourth bear was just curious and it was in an area with mountain laurel and just peeked above the mountain laurel and watched me as I walked by. I hope that you enjoyed this week's nature mystery. Look for a post next week for another nature mystery. If you would like more information about how Mass Audubon is protecting the nature of Massachusetts, please go to massaudubon.org. See you next week.